Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, Puri and I are taking you on a whirlwind tour of Vienna, focusing on the top 10 things to do when visiting Vienna for the first time. And we have some insider tips for you, so make sure to watch till the end of the video and buckle up because Vienna is gonna blow you away. It's really good. Number 1. St. Stephen's Cathedral Our journey begins at the iconic St. Stephen's Cathedral, a true Vienna landmark. The best part, you ask? Entering the stunning interior is completely free. No lines, no reservations. Now, if you're feeling adventurous, you can pay a little bit extra to ride the elevator on the North Tower for breathtaking city views or explore the historic catacombs beneath the cathedral. But for simply soaking in the beauty, a free visit is all you need. Just a friendly reminder, if you want to visit the North Tower or the catacombs, please note they do not accept cards. So make sure you have some cash on hand. Number 2. Vienna's coffee house culture. Vienna has a rich coffee house culture and no trip is complete without experiencing it. <laughs> But the well-known spots normally come with long queues in front of it. So we have a little insider tip for you. Watch till the end of the video to see where you can get your traditional coffeehouse experience without waiting in line. To kick things off, we'll introduce you to a modern twist on the traditional coffeehouse experience in Vienna. Ruth Volzeile. We've only heard good things about this place and we're excited to check it out for the first time. Located just just few meters away from the St. Stephen's Cathedral, Truth Volzeile isn't just famous for their coffee, but also for their San Sebastian cheesecake. We know San Sebastian cheesecake is not an Austrian dessert, but hey, if it's good, we don't want you to miss out on it when you're in Vienna. This is a very special one, isn't it? Slightly liquid on the inside, custardy. Wow! So it's like a Cream brulee almost. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's really custardy. Different than all the other cheesecakes I had before. It's really good. Mm. They're also famous for their coffee. Yeah. The flavor of the coffee is really nice. So if the if the milk would be slightly colder, it would be a perfect coffee, I would say. We will definitely put it on our coffee house list. Check out the link in the description box below if you'd like to get access to our map featuring our favorite Vienna coffee houses. It's a great way to discover hidden gems like this during your trip. So sign up now because it's free of charge. I like the vibe that they have going on inside. It's very cozy. We decided to take it and enjoy this beautiful alley, which is not too busy at the moment. Later on, I think it will get busier. Apparently that's how you eat a San Sebastian cheesecake. <laughs> I didn't know that. I just but... ate it like any other cake, but... <laughs> Yes, you have to like scoop out the creaminess that's right in the middle. Mm. Oh, oh, it's good. Yeah, I can imagine that the pistachio one, if you like pistachio, the pistachio one is definitely next level. It actually tastes very, like, it reminds you of Creme caramelized, brulee. yeah, like creme brulee, creme brulee yeah. flavor. Yeah. Amazing, really good. Mm. If you're still watching this video, you're definitely interested in more content like this. So hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Feeling energized after that coffee and cake? Time to dive into Vienna's rich history. Number 3. Hofburg, the official presidential palace of Austria. We are sitting here right in front of the famous Hofburg. It's pretty grand, you have a museum inside, you also have an event location inside. I have to say also the structure from outside is super unique.
And once again, Vienna's weather has surprised us with some raindrops. After exploring the palace, take a moment to unwind in the beautiful Volksgarten, a tranquil public park right in front of the Hofburg. It's a perfect place to escape the city buzz and enjoy some peace. And the best part? Entry to Volksgarten is completely free. Number 4. The Parliament The Parliament building is a stunning piece of architecture, a testament to Greek architectural influence in Vienna. Recently restored, this neoclassical masterpiece is a must-see for any visitor. If you want to learn more about its fascinating history, we would highly encourage you to book one of their guided tours inside. Number 5. Vienna City Hall Rathaus Right next to the parliament sits the Vienna City Hall, another architectural gem. This grand building is not just a beautiful site, but also a popular location for outdoor events throughout the year. In summer you have the Vienna Film Festival, in winter you have the Grand Vienna Christmas Market right here. And now they are also doing some preparation for the Vienna City Marathon which is taking place on April 21st. From here, we're taking the tram number one to Karlsplatz again, and you'll see the state opera. Number six, exploring Vienna's Ring Boulevard with tram line number one. Ready to see more of Vienna's amazing buildings? Let's hop on tram number one and head to the Vienna State Opera. This tram takes you around the famous Ring Boulevard which circles the city center. It's a great and cheap way to see all the must-see buildings we've talked about so far without spending a fortune on taxis or sightseeing buses. Just remember to have a valid public transportation ticket or consider getting the Vienna City Card, which includes public transport access. You'll find a link to the Vienna City Card in the description box below. Number 7 the opera. Our tram ride takes us right to the Vienna State Opera. This incredible building isn't just beautiful on the outside. If you want to see the opera house from the inside, definitely make sure to book one of their guided tours linked in the description box below. Number 8. Naschmarkt. Just a short walk from Vienna State Opera, you'll find the amazing Naschmarkt. This busy market is a fun place for your senses. It's full of fresh fruits and vegetables, spices from all around the world, and delicious food. It's definitely a vibe, therefore also a very popular tourist destination. If you do want to visit a more authentic and local market, we would recommend you to check out Bundenmarkt that we featured in our recent video. You could hop on tram line number two until the station Brunnengasse and enjoy a more local and also budget-friendly experience. But it's so good. Number nine, Schönbrunn Palace. Next up, we'll take the subway line U4 to the famous Schönbrunn Palace. This giant palace is a UNESCO World Heritage, which is a must visit in Vienna. If you want to visit the palace, you need to buy a ticket, which we absolutely recommend you to do if you want to experience the true essence of the Baroque style. However, we would highly encourage you not to miss out on exploring the stunning gardens which are located behind the palace. So here are the gardens. To visit the gardens, you don't have to pay any entrance. So come here, enjoy. It screams, actually to me, it absolutely screams summer. Like here you can enjoy your whole day. You can grab yourself something to eat. And later on you will see there are benches. You can sit there and enjoy just a beautiful summer day. So these are the famous waterfalls of the Shenbun Palace and the gardens. On the right and the left side, you can actually walk up to the Gloriettes. Um, it's a very steep walk, so be careful. Up there, you will definitely get a beautiful view of the whole Schönbrunn Palace. And also, it's one of the places where you get free view of the whole city. Number 10. Austrian Food 
If you only have one day in Vienna, you would want the best Viennese culinary experience, right? This restaurant, named Plachuta, is a true institution and has hosted countless celebrities throughout the years. It's popular among the locals and is also a tourist hotspot. But for a good reason, because the food is incredible. You can't leave Vienna without trying a Wiener Schnitzel, right? Plachuta has an outstanding Wiener Schnitzel, which can be considered one of the best in the city. So you're definitely at the right place. But we would also highly recommend you to try their Tafelspitz. This is their speciality and it's basically beef cooked to perfection in a rich broth with vegetables and bone marrow and is typically served with delicious sides such as crispy potatoes and an applesauce. It's also called the emperor's favorite because it used to be Kaiser Franz Josef's favorite dish. We also tried the Kaiserschmann, which is a shredded pancake dish served with malt stewed plums. It was absolutely delicious, but we have had better ones for a much lower price. For Kaiserschmann, we recommend grabbing a portion to go from Café Dember. They have a fantastic price to quality ratio. On a side note, we were a little bit unlucky and had a very unfriendly waiter during our visit. Just a heads up. Unfriendly waiters can sometimes happen in Vienna, so be prepared and don't let it spoil your mood. Now for the hidden gem we promised earlier on. So guys, coffee house culture is big in Vienna, but if you've seen one of our videos, you know we're not such big fans of these traditional, overly hyped coffee houses. If you want to skip the queue, not wait in line, we have an alternative for you. If you still want to experience this traditional feel in a coffee house, let us show you. If you want a true Viennese coffee house experience without waiting in line, Gasna K&K Hofzucker Becker is the place to be. It's a beautiful confectionery with a stunning coffee house located upstairs. The ground floor. This is where you'll find all sorts of delicious sweets and cakes. Perfect for taking a sweet souvenir home. First floor. This floor offers a traditional coffee house vibe with a beautiful interior. We grabbed a table here and enjoyed the atmosphere and had stunning views of the Vienna State Opera. Second floor. This floor offers a more luxurious and grand ambience. The good news is the prices are the same on all floors. You pay the same for cakes and coffee no matter where you sit. However, the experience gets more luxurious as you go up. If you're visiting Vienna for the first time, we highly recommend the second floor for the stunning atmosphere. We hope you enjoyed this video and got a taste of what Vienna has to offer. If you did, leave a like and comment below. We love hearing from our viewers and fellow travelers. Also, if there's something specific you'd like us to explore in Vienna or even elsewhere, please share your suggestions. Thanks for joining us on this journey through Vienna. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!